ends. The Promised Neverland. The Disappointment Never Ends. The Promised Neverland Season 1 is that type of anime where you hit play and can't stop watching. I remember spending a whole night glued to the screen, racing through the escape plan and the mind games between Emma and Isabella. The suspense was incredible and I just had to know if the children would make it out. The cliffhanger at the ending left me desperate for Season 2. It was so good that it even won awards for Anime of the Year. But then, Season 2 happened. Or should I say the car crash that they called Season 2. It felt like they took everything we loved, threw it in a blender, and hit the chaos button. The plot was so rushed, I needed a seatbelt to keep up, and Norman's return? Total whiplash. It was like they just skipped the emotional roller coaster and dropped us at the exit. Seriously, if you want to enjoy this series, just stick with the manga. Trust me, your sanity will thank you. Oh, and if you're enjoying this trip down anime disappointment lane, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Flashy fights and even flashier disappointments. Ah, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War started off strong, with Yamamoto and Yuwash Showdown setting the bar so high, it practically left Earth's orbit. The flames, the animation, the intensity, it was all there. But then, the pacing decided to do a nosedive. Instead of more of that glorious action, we got talking. So much talking. It was like they forgot what a fight was supposed to look like. And don't get me started on season two. Ichigo's grand return, hyped up for what felt like centuries, only to end with a fight that lasted as long as a sneeze. And that Ewok vs. Zero Squad fight? I think I fell asleep halfway through all the let me explain my powers nonsense. Come on, Bleach. We want battles, not bedtime stories. Tokyo Ghoul, from thriller to filler. The anime that had us all questioning whether coffee was really worth the risk. Season one was everything we could ask for. Dark, twisted, and full of heart-pounding moments. Kaneki's transformation from ordinary guy to ghoul? Perfection. If you stopped here, you'd be singing its praises forever. But then, they gave us, and what even was that? They skipped season three like it was some kind of clerical error and jumped straight into confusion. It was like they picked up the plot, shook it really hard, and then threw it back at us. If you want a coherent story, just watch the first two seasons and call it a day. The rest just an exercise in frustration. Seven Deadly Sins, The Seven Deadly Declines. Remember when Seven Deadly Sins was the goat? The fights, the feels, the friendship. Everything was golden. And then, season three came along, like a bad sequel that just wouldn't quit. When they switched to Studio Dean, it was like trading in a Ferrari for a tricycle. The fight scenes became a laughing stock. Seriously, the Escanor versus Meliodas battle looked like two toddlers going at it with crayons. And don't even mention the fan service overload. It was like they knew the plot was slipping, so they decided to distract us with, well, everything else. Seven Deadly Sins went from epic to please make it stop in record time. Sword Art Online from sword fights to snooze fests. Sword Art Online Season 1 was an absolute banger. The whole trapped in a game, life or death stakes thing was gripping, and the fights? Pure adrenaline. But then came season two, and it was like all the air got let out of the balloon. Without the life-threatening danger, the characters started feeling as exciting as dry toast. The show kept rehashing the whole trapped-in-a-game concept until it lost its edge. And the backstories? Oh look, another rich family, another lonely home, how original. By the end, I was just wishing they had called it quits after season one. I would have loved to see them explore the lasting psychological scars from the first game, but nope, we got harems and fan service instead, yay? And there you have it. From thrilling highs to disappointing lows, these anime had it all, until they didn't. 